Floorville Foy is inextricably tied to the New Orleans tradition of above-ground burials, but he is rarely discussed in New Orleans tours, even those in the cemeteries. Born a free person of color in New Orleans to Prosper Foy, a Frenchman, and a free woman of color, he learned the craft of marble cutting and sculpting from his father. A common tale told about this custom is that the low water table will cause the tombs to expel their bodies when it rains. This has long been told and shared and spread widely. It does work well with the spooky qualities of New Orleans. I've heard about bodies floating up after the floods of Katrina, and I've even seen posts by Instagram witches about gathering bones from cemeteries after the rain because of this. But this legend is not rooted in reality. Canal Street was never a canal with bodies floating by. The Mafia are much more discreet than that. The first colonists who died in New Orleans were buried on the banks of the Mississippi River. But they did not stay buried there long as the river rises and falls. This is perhaps where the legend of floating bodies comes from. Before the St. Louis cemeteries 1 through 3 were built, there was a cemetery in the French Quarter called St. Peter. But because of the fear of yellow fever, which was not yet understood, they moved the cemetery out of the city limits, building St. Louis No. 1 in 1789. Once they started building graves there, they built above ground in the style of the Europeans. But these first above ground tombs were plain vaults made of brick. St. Louis No. 2 opened in 1823. J.N.B. Depouillet, who arrived in New Orleans in 1833 and is the architect responsible for the current iteration of St. Louis Cathedral, started designing graves like those of his hometown of Paris, like you might find in Père Lachaise Cemetery in Paris. Florville Foy was the marble cutter who built the tombs designed by Dupuyer, and many of the tombs in these cemeteries. He is at least in part responsible for the elaborate landscape of our resting places that draws so many visitors. Florville signed his tombs, like many marble cutters, and you can find his signature on his own tomb. As you walk around today, Notice the artists etched into their works. You'll see many by Florville along the way. As you explore the cemetery, you will also find many graves that are not built above ground and still hold their contents firmly protected, further proving that this custom is not rooted in the trauma of unmoored corpses.